everybody welcome to the swear corner for those joining us for the very first time welcome you all welcome my name is Orlunda and for my swag firm hey yo how's it going okay today we're going to talk about all things foundation for those who are starting their makeup or starting to get into their makeup in 2020 so basically foundation is the one thing that you need to know you need to know how to pick your foundation how to find your undertone and how to apply it without all these things your makeup game is not going to rock at all we have a variety of foundations and a variety of brands like there's a lot of brands in the market now you know market not so much but they're starting to get into our market as well country and mean is in market into our country as well and into our reach um better and better i think more and more as time is progressing we used to have very few brands that could ship to namibia and so now at least you can get a couple of brands you can order from amazon ebay alibaba buy from people who import from other countries export from import import from other export from other countries import from other countries and all of that and buy from them second hand as well so you can buy from a lot of shops and a lot of you can buy a couple, a couple of brands now and most of the brands have now really become um, black girl friendly and so we're trying we're starting to get more and more um, foundations that actually matches up us and so it's becoming easier to choose a foundation that you want for your skin type and it's becoming, becoming easier to actually find your actual shade so with that let's then what is the number one thing that, that you need to know? Oh, before we get there, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to help us grow. It doesn't cost a thing. And if you watch this and you like this, leave a comment and all the other questions. Anyway, so the first thing that you need to know is um, what is your undertone? What is undertone, you ask? Undertone is that shade just under, just underneath your actual brown flesh that shade just there that like pops up when like you your your face hits the sun that shade that is that makes your brown a little bit red your brown a little bit yellow your brown a little bit like pale your brown a little bit green that one or ashy that is your undertone literally is the color just beneath your actual brown there are four undertones that are very common and that is the warm tone the cool tone the neutral and uh, peach almost type tone but the most popular two that are within brown that are within black people is the warm and cool okay when you think of cool you probably think of like very like cool colors no in my in wake up makeup world it's very different and so they give you like your cooler tones are more the red pulling very red um blue green blue purple shade line that's cool and then your uh warmer tones are your golden tones like yellow orange almost red but not really but those golden undertones that pop up those are like warmer colors and neutral is the ones that is like brown but underneath is almost but it's like as if your your face always looks like you have a gray underneath your your brown that's very neutral and then you get the peachy ones that are in between your in your in between like green the middle of a green yellow type of like um, undertone one way that you can see um, what your undertone is, is if you go out and then you stand in the Sun the color that reflects in the Sun the most is your undertone like if I go there mine is always very like orangey yellow in there can't decide whether I'm orange or yellow that's my undertone that makes me a warmer undertone right and then the other thing is that um, if you look at your wrist, your veins within your wrist, if they are more green, it also means that you have a warmer undertone. Also, if you look good in gold jewelry, then you also tend to be more warmer tone than, um, than cool. And then for those who are cool tone, 
the the same thing the sun is the number one thing that you can go out and look and then that shade if it's like very red you know you are cool if, if you look better in silver jewelry than in gold jewelry you also tend to be much cooler and then if your veins within your wrist is more blue purplish then you also tend to be more cooler if you look good in both gold and silver jewelry you tend to be more than um neutral and then your veins are literally like a mixture as well also you tend to be more neutral in that sense it's just as a as an addition to all of this if you don't know what your what your undertone is yeah i've explained all of this and you're still like i still am not sure and you want to go into the shop and buy makeup the number one thing that always tells you exactly what also your the, the inner your inner wrist also shines off always mostly your your undertone more because it's much lighter and here by your nose this area here usually also gives you a good idea of your undertone because it tends to be mostly like lighter and more the one that's exposed but so the colors always come out here you'll find like maybe you are darker here and much lighter here but the color that comes out here underneath your tone more that also becomes your undertone so just in addition to all of that now that you know what your undertone is, you also need to know what your skin type is. And whether you are dry, uh, normal, oily combination. And with all of those, you also need to know what under other skin conditions that you have, whether you are acne prone or not. And all those stuff like large pores, small pores and stuff. I have a whole video that... Exp that um, defines or tells you how to find your undertone i'll link it here and then you can click there and go find not your undertone but your skin type is so i'll put it here and you can go there and then um see to figure out what your skin type is if you don't know your skin type okay so for the purpose of this whole thing i am more golden so i'm warm toned and my skin type is dry now that you figured out these two things, now we're going to the shop and we're going to try and find our foundation. Okay. You will walk in there and you'll be very overwhelmed with the amount of foundations that you see. You have a variety of foundations depending on exactly why you want to start your makeup or why you're doing your makeup. Whether it is for everyday wear, you want to wear it for just everyday wear and at home. Is it like, oh, I just want to wear it for like function specifically? Is it for like, um, acting in front of the camera for a long time watch exactly theater whatever exactly makeup that you want to do and so your foundation the foundation that you pick will also determine then what look you want to get okay there's a lot of foundations out there we have liquid foundations that are very popular we have the powder foundations so we have the liquid foundations the you get stick foundations that are mostly used for like contouring and stuff like that and you get powder foundations it's more like comes in a powder format like a press powder and that's what you put on for like a very light um, application or light look and then you also get the cream foundations those are mostly used for um, full cover looks and mostly for if you're gonna do like TV for example and you're doing like theater those type of um, yeah and maybe like you want to go to a function for example and you want your a full face beat people pretend to use more the cream foundations for that because it does give you a more fuller look um, and then you also see for like yeah it's true for weddings and parties and some people would rather use that than the then go with the liquid or stick okay and then you also get the BB cream, which is a very light version foundation. And that's it for people who really want very, very like um, apply, I apply, but not so much. Just want to correct a few spots for one of those. Very sheer, very a little bit tinted to your color. You also find those in the shops. Okay, so now we've determined what it is, and we're for the for the purpose of this video, we're gonna go for everyday wear. And now I'm looking for a foundation. So now I know my I know that what my skin tone is, I know my skin type. And I know why I'm wearing foundation or what my foundation is going to do basically so we're doing it for everyday wear for everyday wear the best ones will literally be liquid foundations or you can go with 
BB creams. Foundations also have um, they are also labeled whether they are for normal skin, dry skin, normal to oily, oily to dry, all of that stuff they are labeled. So once you know your skin type, you need to get a foundation that fits exactly your skin type. For people who have dry skin, the ideal foundation for you, for people like me, is literally is actually the um, foundation that says normal or that gives you the dewy finish, right? And people who have oily skin, you must go for um, foundations that are very that are matte because you want your foundation to last longer and because you have oily skin you don't want it to look too oily so the matte helps for people with oily skin and the dewy for people with dry skin and then for both combination skin you can always do well you can pick whichever one you want because you have combination skin if you have more dry skin then and only this area is oily then you want to maybe go for like something like dewy and maybe something matte or you can go with either one that's literally up to you and you can always use like a mattifying primer and then put the dewy foundation on top for a nice dewy look because not all people depending on your skin type like like a dewy look not everybody likes a matte look even if you're oily skin you just want a dewy skin that's just basically what you want um i will have a video also explaining exactly primers and the different type of primers that we have and so yeah i think i don't know if it's going to be before or after this one i don't know but i will have a video that tells you talks to you about um primers and how to select the primer for your skin type while you're in the shop and you are now you're you're finding your foundation i really do i don't know i'm gonna rent maybe a side note whatever i really do not like the lights in beauty shops I don't know if it's just me, but oh, those lights are so deceiving. You'll go in there, swatch, and then think, oh, that looks so good. And then go home, and that thing is like the wrong shade. Isn't that frustrating? Very frustrating. Once you are in the shop, please make sure that you ask the shop assistant or whoever is helping you for a tester. Because within this time of COVID, you can't test, you can't do testers in the shop. Um, so please ask for a tester and then see if that shop can give you I know for I know please can give you testers on some foundations I just also know for Shini can also give you testers on some foundations and I also know Edgar also gives you testers on some foundations All right so you can literally go around and see which foundation works for you and then you can ask for small testers uh that actually works well if you are still not sure in the shop because sometimes the girls in the shop oh no shade some of them also still don't know because there's people have this mentality in Namibia, i think or it's just a black person mentality that your foundation is supposed to be one shade lighter than you like i don't understand like who does that your foundation isn't supposed to be one shade lighter than you anyway it's supposed to be your exact shade <laughs> so just keep that in mind okay and don't feel under pressure to choose a foundation immediately literally go in there oh please don't wear any foundation don't wear any makeup at all you want to go there with a bare skin to get the exact proper shade okay please do not test your foundation with any with your inner rest because your inner rest is much lighter guys it's so much lighter you can see also for for me my hands i don't know i actually thought my hands and my face were actually the same shade according to the camera it looks like it is it might not be but for most people it's not so you don't want to do that either so the best places to test is here on your chin going to your neck or your chest so that's or maybe on your nose but most people are actually much lighter here and so you just also want to be careful with that okay two things that you're going to experience as a black girl that maybe people do not know is that most people you'll find that there are people out there with it's easy for people it's easy to test your foundation here or on your on your the back of your hand if you if the back of your hand and your face are the same shade it is okay to test here 
if your neck and your face are the same shade some people's faces are much lighter than their necks and so every time you test like this it seems that you're never finding the right foundation if your neck and your chest are the same shade make sure that you get a foundation that matches your neck and your chest if your face is darker than your chest but your neck is as dark as your your face get a foundation that matches your neck and your face because it's easy to con with your highlight and contour to manipulate that your highlight looks like your chest and then the rest looks like the contour if that makes sense because thank god for all of this contour and highlight stuff because once you conceal and you highlight this area becomes lighter this center of your face becomes lighter which reflects nicely and it looks like it's like that which means your and then your neck looks exactly like the rest of your face and then you find some people who are very dark here in the perimeter of their face and then very light here in this area people like that unfortunately you can either go for one shade again that matches your neck and your your face or your chest or you need two foundations <laughs> yes a foundation that's dark enough for this area and a foundation that i mean not that but that fits the, the parameter of your skin and one that fits the in here of your skin by the way also another note is black girls or i think any woman in general you are going to need more than one foundation i'm just going to put it out there yeah i don't want to spend so much money you're going to need more than one foundation you're going to need one foundation for when it's summer because your face tends to be darker to get darker because of how much time you spend in the sun and in winter your face tends to become much lighter and so you need to get you probably need like one shade lighter depending on how light you get for winter you can't use your winter shade for summer you will see that in summer you look like your foundation has become too light no it's just basically how it is we get to be darker in summer and much lighter in winter that's basically how that is and as a black girl anyway for us some of us with multiple shades you're going to need more than one shade so that your face looks even yeah i don't want to apply i'm just learning so i don't want to conceal yet so you need two foundations one for the parameter and then one for the center of your face okay now we're gonna go and take some examples and swatch some of the foundations that I have. And then you'll also see that even though I've, I'm doing makeup for, I've been doing makeup for a while, most of these foundations are not my exact, exact shades because unfortunately, there's gonna be that 10% of the time guys that you're not gonna get it right. You're always going, you're only gonna get it right and maybe 90, well in this number of hours, maybe you get it right 80 percent of the time or 20 percent of the time even if it looks like it it looks good then you go home it does not look good oh and the other thing that you also have to know is that some foundations also oxidize oxidize is like they change color when that product mixed with oxygen and then it tends to be darker so you run you buy a foundation and you're like oh this is so cool and also they don't put that on the foundation to say that oh it will oxidize they really don't so you must just figure it out and then see that's why i think a tester is better because then you go home and you apply and then you let it sit for a while and see whether that shade remains exactly that it like, like the, the way that it is or whether it becomes a little bit darker because if it does become darker it means it oxidizes which means you have to buy one shade lighter to actually get your actual shade my maybelline is like that it does oxidize and so it always swatches like it's one shade too light but once it oxidizes it matches my skin exactly okay so i'm gonna start off with the rimmel cappuccino and look at how nice it looks that's rimmel and i love rimmel So that's Rimmel and this is Revlon see how they blend out in my skin but 
this one here the Revlon has the, the right undertone it blends so nicely out in my neck and once it's blended of course it's my undertone it fits it's like the perfect this is literally my perfect foundation um, for winter because it it just it is the right undertone it really is so this is if you're going to a shop and you are in doubt about what foundation am I going to use to buy always buy I will I will suggest you buy one shade darker because it's me because it's easier especially one buy one shade darker if the undertone is the right undertone because it's easy to manipulate dark with um, concealer on top and then you don't have to contour and create a whole look and you still end up matching your skin but but as a black girl one thing I've learned is that you must always have a dark foundation on hand so you rather buy two one shade darker one shade lighter especially if it's a cheap foundation and you have the budget buy then the two of them so you can combine and then finesse it to create your actual shade I'll show you how so you can just do so it opens like this so it's oops so you take that that's too light you can mix one pump one pump of each depending on how light it looks mix the two shades and then you mix them until they become one. I wanna drag it all the way. So if you see that, oh, it's still a little bit light, you can always go two pumps of the dark one, two pumps, one pump of the, the light one, and you still mix them up. Look at how nice it's going into my skin. And then you just do that. See? Compared to the light, this is more my actual shade. So as black girls, sometimes we have to finesse for it to look like our actual shade. Blend out both of them. So you don't use so much. You have to put enough to build for both sides so you can see that, so that you can get that beautiful blend, so that it looks like a very natural like look. So that's basically that. I have given you all I think I could give you regarding foundations. Okay, so you can application. So how, what do I use to apply? You can use a beauty blender, a blender to apply it, or you can use, or you can use a brush to apply it. That's basically up to you. You get um, a big brush like this. I like this one because it just blends out for me very nicely. I bought this one in Clicks. And then a blender you can buy in all the shops, all the makeup shops, even Signature. You can also get their brushes there. I don't know if they have proper foundation brushes that I like, but you can also get them there. So that's up to you. A beauty blender more gives you a very natural type of feel. And I feel like a brush gives you a full, like full cover makeup look. But that is really up to you. You must be at home and you play around with your makeup and then you see which one you really like. And that's basically how it goes. And you want to also apply your primer underneath and then your foundation on top. And that will help your foundation sit longer. Yeah. Um, I think we've covered everything we need to cover foundation wise. In the next couple of videos, we'll talk to you. I'll speak to you more about then contour and then highlight and conceal. And then we'll take it literally beginner makeup in 2020. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that if you've come this far and you've watched a couple of my videos, you've already like liked the channel and that you I mean liked the video that you and that you left me a comment to say hi and that you've also subscribed and please share the video with your friends who are also learning to do get into makeup 
and yeah that's basically it thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next makeup video